What's going on guys and welcome back to the Triple B Gaming News Channel. If you want to hear the other side of the news, subscribe and turn on notifications. In today's video we have got some information regarding Nitro Luke and how he decided to speak out about the cheating in Call of Duty Warzone and it is extremely interesting. So, let's crack on with the news. Nitro Luke has never been one to hold his tongue, especially when it comes to speaking out about the cheating problem. In fact, he was actually in a tournament some time ago, which was hosted by Mina Mendez, and he was kicked out of the tournament for accusing somebody else of cheating. Rather than the tournament's host actually go and do some detailed search into the person he thought was cheating, they decided to kick him out instead. Only to later find out that person was accused by multiple other people in the tournament, so he is definitely one not to hold his tongue, especially when it comes to unfair gameplay, especially when there is money on the line. But he seems to have hit a sort of plateau, he's speaking out about the cheating problem and it's almost like nonchalant, it's almost like he doesn't care anymore about it, it is what it is, it's that sort of mentality. But what I'll do now, I'm going to run a clip of Nitro Luke actually discussing the cheating now and you'll hear the difference in tone of how he's speaking about it in this day and age compared to 6 months ago, compared to 12 months ago. It does seem to be a change in tone from Nitro Luke. Oh, that I don't ever want you to ever feel obligated to ever throw a penny in. I will 100% play with you, play with you. Just... I get very excited to play two hours by myself, you know, like rubbing that two hours up and down, it, you know, because I, I know that Zach is waiting to play and things like that, like. Okay, talking about get bombs later, okay, this. right? Please, in my get chat. To the new safe zone. I know Gas you guys love him, in. you know, I'm sure he resonates with you really well. Bound. Yeah, but I can't be asked for you guys to start talking whether you think he's legit or not. It doesn't matter if he's legit or not, the game's fucked, okay? One hour. All right, we'll play for an hour and a bit then. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, look, it just... I know you guys love Z-Laner because you don't want to see him be a cheater or anything. Yeah, but does it really matter? Does it? Like, is he legit? Do you know what? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do I think he's legit? Yeah, does it matter? All I'm saying is, is that I don't care. You know, if you think he is, great. If you don't think he is, great. The difference is... Is that, does it really fucking matter if you think he is or he isn't? What's going to happen if he is? Yeah, great. What happens if he isn't? All right, so all of a sudden, Bronze Lane is not fucking winning, you know. Like, he's he's not legit. Oh, what's going to happen? What are you, what you going to do to prove that he's not cheating? Yeah? Yeah? We all thought Lance Armstrong was legit. No, we didn't. Yeah, like, we thought Lance Armstrong was legit, but everyone knew that internally you had people coming out the woodwork like years later. Yeah, we knew Lance Armstrong wasn't legit. Mate, 90%, right, of all pro players that play online on Warzone and streamers that play online on Warzone are cheating. When they go to a LAN tournament, they are legit. But when they are playing online over the internet, when this game is riddled with hackers, riddled with cheaters, the game, they are cheating. Don't take it to offense. It is the game. Have you seen how bad this game is? Have you seen how, like, how many hackers are in this game? If you think for one second these motherfuckers are going to waste their fucking energy and waste their day playing legit, you are cray cray. You are mop cray cray. Yeah, I'll put it in after. Yeah, uh, oh yeah. Actually, I'll put it in now. Shit, that's just, I just shared the stream. See, look what you made me do? Put it in the wrong thing. All right, didn't mean to put that little share in there. Yeah? All I'm saying is, right, is that if you think having aim assist against Krampus, you're fucking dumb. Okay? If you if you look at his lobbies, they're all below 1KD. There's VPA. Yeah? But guess what? It's not just Z. Yeah? It's not just Lee. It's literally every motherfucking streamer that you love. Yeah? Yeah, but ser seriously. I'm not even lying. Go in. watch your you favorite stream. I like Mute X or whatever. They're all fucking sus. They're all. There is not one fucking one of them my that is sus. Strike. And I don't care if you think they're the controller god required. from the north, from the east, to the south, active. to the west. I'm telling you now, it don't make, make fucking any sense. Okay? They're shooting people that don't fucking shoot back at them. Yeah. They shoot people through fucking walls. Yeah. 
They don't have... They make effortless aim. Yeah. If you really give a fuck, then you know what? Good luck enjoying this game, because this game is for the ignorant. If you are... If you are ignorant, please enjoy what you have, because the second you become more woke and more open to actual cheaters in this game, you become a tinfoil hat mother lover like me. I am the epitome of a tinfoil hat mother lover. I love the tinfoil hat so much that I am the tinfoil hat princess, okay, all right? I am the guy that will call your favorite streamer a hacker. I am the guy that will call your favorite pro player a hacker. I am that guy. Do I think they're not legit? I 100% can tell you that legit so many of them are not legit. And I want to tell you in truth that I don't give a fuck about it anymore because the game is fucked and riddled with hackers. He makes some very valid points within that, okay? People in his chat were talking about one specific streamer, which was Zed Laner, which actually caused Nitro Lou to start talking about this subject. And he even says that when these guys go to a LAN event, they play legit. When they're playing at home in the comfort of their own home on their own setup online, they're not playing legit. He thinks that at least 90% of them aren't. He even goes on to say that if you are ignorant, and that's not an insult in any way. He's saying if you are oblivious to the cheating problem, enjoy the game. Because you can enjoy the game still. But if you become woke to the idea that people in the game are cheating and start to understand the cheats, then the game is ruined. And that is why I believe his whole approach to this seems completely different than in the past. He, just like myself, once thought that we could combat the cheating problem he actually went into detail about multiple streamers in the past showing live on his stream how these streamers were getting into bronze lobbies now this was back when there was a website where you could actually see what level of lobby the player was in and it was based on color bronze silver gold platinum diamond right diamond one two three four it was all numbered and colored and you could tell whether or not it was a hard lobby or an easy lobby. So that is why he's referring to Zed Laner as Bronze Laner throughout. I will say one thing though, it is disheartening to see a streamer who started on Facebook gaming playing Call of Duty, one of the first, if not the first, I can't quite remember. He was on Facebook gaming streaming Call of Duty Blackout and switched over to Modern Warfare 2019 and then went to Warzone. And this is now his trail of thought about this game. If this isn't a clear message and a clear image of what this game has done to the online gaming world, I don't know what is. But Nitro Luke DX speaks a lot of sense throughout this. It's just a little bit disheartening that him, along with many others out there, feel the same way. If we do find out any more about Nitro Luke speaking out about this, guys, we'll definitely keep you posted here on the Triple B Gaming News channel. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on Triple B. Over and out. Thank you very much for making it this far through the video. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you fancy sharing the video out as well, it helps the channel massively. And if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and whack that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily news uploads. You don't want to miss out. We have fun here. We give you the news on a daily basis. But also, for anybody who can't watch the videos on the move and you feel like you want to keep up to date with the news in other ways, we do have a website www.bbbgamingnews.com. It's actually linked in the description of every single one of our videos. We put out multiple news articles about gaming related things across all boards, all different games, all different consoles, all different gaming news. Go and check it out and thank you very much for watching once again.